<laughs> it's all good. Um, okay, so uh, Rob, thanks for taking some time to talk to, uh, to everybody. Um, so I guess uh, it's been, uh, something's happened in your life recently over these last couple of months, and I even just dying to tell everybody about it. And so I just kind of want to open up, a, let me ask you this, could you take a few minutes to just kind of share like who you are, what you've done with your life, what, you know, talk about what, what brought you to this point in your life now, where you've been, what you've been doing, and all that kind of good stuff, and kind of go from there. My name is Rob Turk. I'm 46 years old. Uh, about five months ago, I was on my way to work in my work truck, feeling empty and depressed. So I, I said a prayer. I asked God to, to, to fix me because I've been a broken man for, for a long time. I need peace in my heart. I need you in my heart. I want to put you in charge of my life today. And that was just, that was one of the most awesome days of my life because a big burden was lifted off me within, within an instant. And my life started to change yeah. for the best. When you say broken, um, you know, everybody's got stuff. Well, could you elaborate? If it's too secretive, then you don't have to talk about it. But if you could maybe explain, like what what it is that was wrong, what what did you what did you sense was wrong with you, uh, leading up to that day? Well, I just didn't have any peace in my heart. So that's the most important thing in life. You can't love anybody unless you love yourself first. But you got to put God's in charge. He needs to be in charge of all that. He's the master. He makes great things happen on a daily basis for me for the last five months. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't had a bad day. <laughs> <That's cool. clears throat> Some days get a little rough, but by the end of the day, it's all worked out for the yeah. best. Yeah. It's just, it's an amazing life now. I just, I wanted to share it with people because, especially young folks, because I, I just want you to, to receive it and believe it yeah. and get started right now. Yeah. Not tomorrow, right now. What do you think is the, what do you think is the, <clears throat> biggest thing that Jesus has done since he became your Lord and Savior? What is the biggest thing um, that he's done for you or in you since that day, since that moment? Well, I finally know what real love is. It's God's love. Mm -hmm. And I'm just a better man. Yeah. How do you, how does your family feel? They're excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm more excited now than I've ever been in my life. I can't wait to get up and, and go to work and, and build the business that I'm building at work. And it's amazing. My phone is ringing off the hook with new customers. I mean, it's just, you know, yeah. I got I got raises and bonuses coming. Uh, it's just everything that's happened in my life now is just awesome. Yeah. What um, what would you say is uh, the 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 next thing? What is it that you what is it that you feel like Jesus needs to work on in you in the process of becoming more like him? Well, he's doing all this work for me, so it's time for me to do some work for him. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Now, I understand that uh, next weekend you're going to be baptized here at church. Yes, sir. What, uh, what, what caused you to, to, to do this? Like, why? why? What's, what's going on that made you want to all of a sudden, after 46 years... Jump in the tank. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is in me working as hard as he can yeah. to make my life, to change me, to yeah. be the guy, to be the man that he wants me to be. Yeah. And that's the man I want to be. Yeah. Is there, uh, is there anything that, like, is there any struggle that you had that you just kept going down this path, kept going down this path, and to no avail that you finally, Jesus took it and... and you just, it, that's blown out of the water now. You don't do that anymore. A big change. What's the big change? Which everybody comes, like when I was, before I was a Christian, I was a massive porn addict and I drank like a fish and I cussed like a sailor. Um, 
if you don't mind, what's your thing? What's your thing that, that God is fixing in, in Rob? Well, it's not just one thing. I'm, I've, I've still got, he's, there's a lot of work to do. Yeah. <laughs> but I got peace in my heart. I mean, yeah. I, he's, got, he's got my plan. I, yeah. I'm, I'm just following the plan. You know? yeah. I, I don't know what it's, what it's going to bring, but yeah. I'm ready to take that ride. Right. It's been yeah. awesome for five months, and I, I'll never turn my back on God again. Amen. What do you think? Do you feel like you're being led to do anything in particular with him other than to give your life to him and let him change you? But do you feel like he's leading you in some place to, to do a certain work perhaps for him? Absolutely. He's pulling me into this church. You know, I, love, I love my pastor and, and the music leader and everybody in this, in this place. But I, I feel like God wants me to be here. I'm certainly glad so, you're here. Is there anything? I want to get involved in the church and do the best I can. Well, I certainly appreciate you being here and, and sharing uh, your heart with your church and whoever else may may see this and hear this. Um, I just want to kind of give you an opportunity to just take a few moments and whatever's on your heart that you'd like to share with anyone who would listen. If there's anything you could tell anyone on the earth, just here it is. Here's your opportunity. Please just go ahead and do that. I don't want to tell anyone, any one person. I want to tell tell everyone. Uh, you just need to get you need to get God in your heart and let Him start today to to build you a new life. Follow His path. Yeah. Let's He's the it. master of the universe. Amen. You know, Superman or Tarzan or none of them none of them guys. <laughs> it's uh, it's the big you. man upstairs that, that that's the truth and can make things happen for you. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So if you want to live an awesome life and start now, then he offers that to you. Just just take it. Reach out and grab it. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate you taking the time to, uh, I appreciate to share that with everybody. Appreciate and, the uh, You got it. Take care. Well, guys, if you haven't met him yet, this is our brother, Rob. Based on that confession, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 